Hello. How do you do? I'm Teacher Susan. I welcome you to our today's program. Our lesson or our subject here is writing skills. And our specific competence is about animals and their young ones. Before we talk about that, let us view the or review the previous specific competence which we talked about animals and their young ones. We say that animals are living things. After there we saw about classes of animals where we say that animals are classified into two groups. One, domestic animals. Two, wild animals. We say that domestic animals are animals that are kept at home, while wild animals are animals that live in the forest. Thereafter, we went and talked about animals and their young ones, whereby we say that a young one of a cow is called calf. I'll just go through a few of them, not all of them. A young one of a cow is called calf. A young one of a dog is called puppy. A young one of a cat is called kitten. A young one of a rabbit is called kitten or bunny. A young one of a hen, chill. A young one of a, an elephant is also called calf, and so on. So let us go to our today's lesson, <coughs> where they want to talk about animals and their sounds. What do you mean by the word sound? What do you mean by the word sound? Sound. Sound means the voice. The voice pro produced. The voice produced by different. means the voice produced by different animals or objects. That's the meaning of sound. As you know that, also, as a, we are learning here, what I'm producing from my mouth, that's my sound. And that one also helps us in learning. And you also, at your home there, if you want to ask something, if you want to ask for help, you have to produce a sound by maybe informing your mom that you want some, something or if you want food, you can also use your sound. Mom, I need food. What's coming out of your mouth, that's what you call sound. <coughs> and you produce sound with different reasons. You can produce sound whereby you need a help, whereby you are happy, maybe you are laughing. And sometimes you can produce sound by screaming or crying. Those are the reasons why you produce sound. So let us talk about animals and their sounds. I have two columns here. First column, animals. And the second column will be for sounds. These are the two columns which is drawn here. So in the first column, as you can see, is written animals, and in the second column is written sounds. So let us check about sounds of different animals. Sounds of different animals. Sounds of different animals. I'm going to list animals on this side and their sounds there. One, 
Let's talk about dog. Two. Cat. Three. I'm listing animals first and then I'll list the, their sounds on the other column. Elephant. We have what you call bed. Fourteen. We have oil. Sorry. See, there's no space in between them. Number fourteen. Oil. Number sixteen. Let's look about the sounds of these animals as I'm thinking of adding more there. As you can see, I've listed here some animals. They are here. So on the opposite side, I'm going to indicate their sounds. On the opposite side, I'm going to indicate their sounds. So the sound of a dog, sound of a dog, Dog barks. It barks. Barks. Cat. A cat meows. A cat meows. Elephant. Elephant trumpet. Rabbit, 
it squares. Squares.
with me I'm going to list sounds here and then, and then you tell the, me the animals which make these sounds I'm going to list here. So in the first column it will be sounds. Then the second column we will list for me animals, which are making these sounds. Here, please make sure you write for me the animals which make the sounds on the opposite sides. Let's end there today's lesson. See you next time. Thank you.